Hi, my name's Rich Harrington. Welcome to this episode of Adorama TV. And today we're talking about the Black Magic Design production camera, the new 4K model. And this is a camera that's been hotly anticipated. What's great about it is that it is really one of the most affordable ways on the market to create Ultra HD 4K content. Now, if you're not a pro video person, those words may sound like gobbledygook, but essentially think of it this way. This is the type of footage that a lot of high-end TV and video projects are using, things like digital cinema. This is four times the resolution of normal 1080p video. So what it means is with a camera like this, we can actually get some fantastic stuff. You've got the ability to essentially crop video because it's gonna be four times bigger than you need. You could shoot the interview wide and then punch in in between. Or maybe you're shooting something like sports. And instead of whipping around chasing the action, you could shoot a little bit looser and then punch in on the best stuff. This is a really popular production approach that's really heating up. All right, so as we take a look at all of this, what exactly do you get with the camera? First off, inside the camera body here is a Super 35 sensor. Now I'll take the cap off so you can see that. We're in a controlled environment here, so it's safe to expose the sensor. And this is a really large sensor. It works great. Very little crop factor, gets you some great footage with this, and gives you the flexibility if you need to in post to have extra resolution. And because of the sensor size, you get really smooth panning and other features that you might want. Now on the lens front, this is working with any EF compatible lenses. So for example, perhaps you're a Canon photographer or you got into Canon DSLR video, you could take standard off the shelf Canon lenses. Line up the red dots and turn. There we go. Now with that, this is a powered controlled mount. So you can actually use the autofocus if you want that, although that kind of defeats the purpose of really using this style of camera. So while you can use any standard Canon lens, there are a lot of other lenses out there. So for example, here I have one of Canon's cinema series lenses. Now, for some of you out there, before you post the comment into the YouTube feed, yes, this lens costs significantly more than the camera. This is the type of lens that you rent for a project. And in a typical video project, I may rent anywhere from three to five of these for shooting a commercial. If you're always shooting commercials or high-end work, then you invest in these. And these are beautiful lenses that are gonna last for a very long time. Now, this particular lens is from Adorama Rentals. And that's the great thing, is that if you need to rent gear, Adorama has that as well. But you can invest, and besides the Canon lenses, a little bit more affordable and equally good, I think, are the ones here from Zeiss, the Compact Primes, as well as some of the Cinema Prime series. And these are a Canon mount. Now, with some of these, you can actually get different adapters, and so you can use them on this camera with Canon, and then put them on other cameras as needed. So let's just switch this out. There we go. Line up the dots. And click into place. Now, quite a big lens there, and I recommend that if you're going to be using some of these cinema style lenses, you're likely going to invest in a rail kit to provide support, as well as a follow focus. And you'll find lots of different kits and options available. If you're looking for a fixed lens video camera, one that comes with it built in, there are lots of other options out there. For, for the cinema style, we like to have the flexibility to change jobs. So I could be shooting this here on 21 millimeter. I can switch out to a different millimeter size. I can go wide, I can go tight. It all depends on the job at hand. Now for storage, this goes to really fast storage here. You just open up that compartment, you can see it. You're gonna use SSDs. SSDs, solid state disks, these are very fast. Think of these as essentially being ultimate compact flashcards. And these are the same ones that you could buy to put in a computer. There's lots of choices out there. I recommend you look at the Blackmagic Design website. They do have some recommendations on brands and capacities that have been tested and work well with the camera because you are capturing 4K video in the Apple ProRes HQ codec. And down the line, it's expected that this will add the ability to also work with RAW files, although that's gonna take a little bit while to get unlocked, and that's the Cinema DNG RAW files, which give you even more file size and flexibility because it's RAW video, much like RAW photography, where you have flexibility with exposure. All right, you take this, line up the back label here and the teeth towards the front of the camera, and simply gently push that in. It should go in really easy, close that, and you're all set to record. 
Now, on the other side here are all of our ports. And I'll just walk you through what they basically do. At the bottom, you've got power. Now, this camera does not have removable batteries. Neither does the cinema camera. The only one that has removable batteries is the pocket camera from Blackmagic. So you're gonna to need to use a powered source or an external battery for this to provide power, but they do make external batteries that go between the camera and the tripod plate that can run it for up to eight hours. So you're gonna get that there. You have a Thunderbolt port, and the Thunderbolt port lets you take advantage of the built-in ultrascopes. With this, you actually get the ability to use the camera as a set of scopes, waveform, vector monitors. These are things that pro video users can use to check the quality of their video signal. All right, above that, we have SDI. And this gives you the ability to send out a high quality output from this. It can actually send out 4K or regular HD video. And above that is the audio. This is quarter inch audio. Not a big standard that's widely used, but I really like from Wooden Camera, they have an adapter that goes from these style cables here, the quarter inch, to the more standard XLR plug. And then of course we have headphones and the ability to control a remote unit if you wanna put a triggering unit for controlling starting and stopping the camera or making other adjustments. All right, pretty cool. Everything's very solid here. This is not the type of camera you're likely to handheld. I could technically shoot handheld and manipulate this, but this is really a cinema camera designed to be put on a rail type system with lots of support. You see here in the field when we shoot with this, we just attach a pretty simple rig, making sure the camera and the lens are supported and it gives us that great flexibility. All right, how do you control this camera? What you're gonna see is basically the viewfinder is also the menu. So if I push the menu button here, all the controls come up. Now the controls are super easy to learn. You have a total of only four screens to choose from and you can control all the critical things here from the format to the audio input levels to the color space that you're monitoring in. The only thing that I see as a real shortcoming is that you can't format cards in the camera. So if you need to do that, you're gonna to wanna to keep a Macintosh computer around because you need to reformat these as Mac formatted hard drives. Now there are some solutions on Windows machines that can do that. Utilities like Mac Drive will allow you to do that on the Windows side if you need to. So if that's an option for you because you're not a Mac user, make sure you pick that up. All right, well, what about the camera itself? 12 stops of dynamic range. With a gigantic sensor in here, we can get some really high quality video. We've also got a 6G SDI output. This is giving you really good color at 422, and you get uncompressed audio. So that audio is not compressed like a lot of other DSLRs. This is gonna give you the ability to record that, either right to the ProRes file, or of course you could take it out to an external recorder. And besides the Ultrascopes package we mentioned, you actually get a full version of DaVinci Resolve Lite, which gives you the ability to do color grading with the footage as it comes out. All right. I'm real happy with this camera. Let's just finish it out. On the backhand side here, we do have a hood and this just simply attaches to the camera. We'll push that in there. And you see it provides essentially a sun hood so that as you're working, you can actually see the screen very well and block out any light. What I would recommend is since the menu is also the same screen you monitor on, keep a gentle lens cleaning cloth in your pocket so you can remove the fingerprints from the day after you break for lunch and craft services, wipe those hands down. Try to keep your hands as oil-free as possible. And between wiping the screen and wiping the operator's hands, it works pretty well. Also, sometimes I'll just use a touch capacitor glove, the ones that they make for skiing, really thin that have the iPhone capacitor at the end. You can actually use those and still control the touch screen while keeping all the oil off the screen. All right. If you want to get this camera, head on over to Adorama. You could order it there. And check out the Adorama Learning Center as well, where there's a whole bunch of articles that you could check out about Ultra HD video as well as general video production. And of course, on Adorama TV, I've got a bunch of tutorials all about video production to help you get more out of your camera. My name's Rich Harrington. I'd like to thank you for watching Adorama TV. great looking prints at low cost, be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. 
Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use AdoramaPix.com.